Hello my friends and welcome to episode 48 of Nightmare Mode. We're getting back into the swing of things now. And we are going to um, do this one skull mission. I'm actually seriously tempted to attempt this mission. Even though it's three skulls. But we'll see how this goes first. <clears throat> and the reason why I say that is just because... Um, I'll have to withdraw if it goes horribly wrong. We have to run away. But, uh, I mean, there's a real potential for money and salvage there. Maybe get some heavies. <clears throat> it is what it is. Hopefully this mission loads this time. There we go. So, usually... This will be a load of mediums, even some heavies, and they'll all be crippled. <clears throat> so even though it's 2-8, it should be an easy 2-8, and it should be a valuable 2-8. Command interface initiated. Ready for action, Commander. Alright, looks easy enough. I don't think we can actually go up there, but we can go up there, so... It's probably a little bit safer to go here and accept a moderate high ground than to go here and try and get the best high ground. But, what the hell. Confirm. We are mostly missile-based, so... Long range suits us well. Copy that. On my way. If I get some spare lab time, I can put that Clan LRM into the Kintaro and increase its uh, capabilities quite a bit. Certainly. Okay, that's a tank. Roger. Heading out. He won't have a shot unless he comes over this ridge. Which might be difficult for the tank, unless he goes straight down the road. But that's going to leave him completely exposed. Reporting enemy contact. Alright. Let's see what he does. <clears throat> Vehicles tend not to reserve, ever. It's an AC-10 Belladonna. That is a whole lot of really tasty clan gear there. Awaiting if I could capture any of that, that would be great. Fifty-fifty. Confirm. Two fifty percent chances. One hit is all that is required. Go. As you wish. Nice. In fact, that was even a bit excessive. <laughs> Reporting enemy vehicle eliminated. Any further enemy movement? Good to go. Can the Kintaro get a shot? It can. It can get an awkward shot. That's actually a forest tile, so this gives us great cover. Confirmed. Alright, what am I looking at? I'm just looking at commando. And a tank. Nothing exciting, or even particularly dangerous. What can I do for you? Go in turbo. This leg is like nearly dead. You betcha. Well, hopefully this last mech here is worth good money, because otherwise we're uh... we're not going to lose anything by doing this mission, but we're not really going to gain by. anything either. <clears throat> Unless we pick up that tasty clan auto cannon. Locking on target. Five HP. Nice. Inflicted some heavy damage. Well, whatever the last mech is, it's also a light mech. Unless it's a tactical medium. 
or that insane Black Knight that's got like minus two initiative, which I highly doubt it's that. It's a wolfhound. Orders. All right. On my way. Did we get his weapon? No, we did not. Um, let's soften up this guy. He's got a whole lot of pulse weapons. Ooh, he took a headshot there. That might make for an easy capture, actually. On my way. We get the leg. He falls over. Nice. What's up, boss? Acknowledged. Knock him down and get the side torso, and we've we've got him. Although the engine is there. It's an XL engine. Firing full complement on. Him. He may explode. Target's taken a critical hit. All right, that's perfect. He, when he gets up, he'll only have two HP on his leg, so I might be able to just clip the leg and uh, injure him again for the capture. Of course. It looks like these are all the enemies, so uh, it's totally worth. Okay, we somehow managed to hit the leg again. I've got eyes on hostile oh. reinforcements. They're heading your way. Never mind. We got more incoming. Five and seven HP. What can I do for you? Pedal to the metal. All right, we'll cool off on this turn. We don't really need to put too much firepower in his general direction. Uh huh. And there goes a leg. And I guess he'll die now. Pretty sure he'll die. Oh, he's got one HP. <clears throat> All right, that's a miss. I want to get that leg without getting that torso because I think that Ready will result order. in an engine death. Affirmative. All right, there's the leg. So, 20, I guess this is the best I can do and just hope that one hits the leg. I copy. Nope. Receiving you. Got it. The Vindicator will definitely be overkill. How much health in that? 25. Ah, he's got a primitive engine. Aye, aye. Let's just get rid of him. Forget it. I don't want that junk in my loot table. Yes, Commander. As you wish. All right, two HP. Oh, this shot will definitely kill him. It's just beacon his ass. Maybe he'll eject. Oh, out. I don't know what the reinforcements will be. I mean, it could just be one mech, it could be two, it could be three. It could be anything on this mission. 
I've seen a whole series of reinforcements. Whatever that tank is, it is slow. Okay, taking a little bit of damage here. Reporting minimal damage. You have orders, Commander. All right, let's try that again. Two HP. Get the leg. Although an LRM-10 would probably be quite a bit too much firepower. Well, I don't really have a choice. Nice. Oh, we got the engine anyway. Bang! You're dead. Oh well. Waiting for orders. Yes, Commander. These things happen. I can't see that tank, whatever it is, so... I'll go here just to mess up his LOS. Alright, it's just a Jenner. Not even an exciting one, it's a garbage Jenner. Here it comes. Good to go. I am pretty sure that this Kentaro can turn this Jenner into junk. Look at these chances to hit. Given everything I've got. See ya. Wow, we hit like every single Think part I of it. Good. What's the plan? But we didn't actually kill it. But this will kill it if we hit. Oh, that's a kill. Connection on that. And he's out of there. Hell yeah. Oh, a dagger. Irritating little heat mech. But great salvage. Oh, we got another blip. With a rotary AC2 or 5. SRM and Scorpion, okay, that's not dangerous. Reporting! Okay, you can just blast this. I understand. Kaboom. Destroyed. Now the Kentaro What's can paste this dagger with missiles. Engaging target. Oh, I bet that hurt. Well, Hostile yeah, eliminated. that hurt. Yes, Commander. Hmm, where did I have a side shot? I definitely saw one. Oh, okay, from down here. Going full Alright, what are we looking at? It's an urban mech with a rotary AC2. And no hope. Copy that. Alright, we tagged him. That's all I wanted to do. I hear ya. Now we can, from the comfort of the high ground, supply him with missiles. Nice. Another hit like that, and you're toast. Shame about the weapon, but you know, whatever. We only get two eight salvage, so we just kill everything efficiently and take as little damage as possible. Barely hit, Commander. There will definitely be loot, so. Commander. All weapons are go. And he's done. That hit something good. His engine is so critically yes, damaged, I'm not even sure why he is still Waiting here. You, Commander.
Let's just fire the one. See if we can keep that engine alive. <laughs> See if we can keep that engine alive. Engine destroyed! Perfect. Mission. Well, we took hardly any damage, so let's see what the loot table has in store for us. That was actually much easier than I was expecting. Okay, so the Jenner, the Urban Mech, and the Wolfhound were all captured. The Ultra AC 10's worth good money. Oh, Sperry CM more for a sweet. After losing one, it's great to pick one up. Oh, look at these choices. Another exchanger. Or a fusion core. Which is good money. Uh, I'm going to take the money. Alright, we got one piece of Jenner, three pieces of Urban Mech, two pieces of Wolfhound, the ECM and the fusion core. So we basically picked up nothing but cash. Perfect. Completed urban mech could be worth good money, depending on how smashed it is when it gets out of the uh, salvage. When it gets out of the salvage storage and becomes a real mech. It's just kind of funny how random salvage can be. I mean, you might get a complete mech with engine, components, you know, you might get a million sea bills worth of stuff, or you might get nothing. Ready to fight, Commander. 12 grand in 3 days. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll run away to the bank with that. Now the question is do I bother to keep the engine because I, I do have some repair projects on the go. Um, I think this engine's a bit too heavy. We've got a 200 line around there, we'll keep that. I don't know where these engines keep coming from. I could have. Sw I, I don't remember capturing a 200 fusion core. I'm pretty sure we sold one last episode as well. We found another ECM, that's good because uh, we lost one previously. So it's nice to have a spare. Very important piece of kit. Now, in terms of contracts, we're pretty much done here. The only contract left is this one. Which is the one that I was really 50-50 about. Great salvage, great money, great risk. Still, I think it might be worth the risk. Let's get the A-team out of fatigue. Okay, one day until the A-team is done. Let's just double check this hunchback that's just been repaired. Alright, this is the one that got smashed in. But actually it was just this... This equipment was not actually that valuable. We now have potentially much better equipment to install. We now have clan streakers to install. And then we have uh, SRM ammo. Do we have any nice SRM ammo? No, just standard. And we had three heat sinks. We could get an exchanger in here. You know what's interesting? <clears throat> um, we do have a ballistic mount. And I don't actually have any um, any missile targeting computers left.
this mech never have a gyro? No wonder it took damage. I reckon, in fact, because we haven't got a huge amount of missile hard points here anyway. What if we went ballistic with this one? This clan gorse rifle's been looking for a home for a while now. Oh, and we have a rotary AC2 which potentially could be more damage. Got the Ultra AC-10. This by far would be the most, the most damaging choice. And we have good plus accuracy ammunition for it. Yeah, let's go for it. We get an Ultra AC-10 in here. Accuracy ammo. How many rounds in an AC-10 can? Eight. So that's not great. AC2 ammo. Do I not actually have? I ironically do not seem to have any more spend, uh, any more spare AC10 ammunition. We'll get the ballistic computer in here. Shouldn't be too expensive for some ammo, right? Unless they don't sell it, that would be a nightmare. Wow, 150 damage. That's disgusting. They do not sell AC-10 ammo. Oh my god. Well, that sucks. Can't fit that if I don't have the ammo. So let's go with the rotary AC2 instead. As much as I like the idea of the uh, gorse rifle, it's only 70 damage. I believe I find myself saying this, but the AC2 actually seems a little better. Plus you get 50 rounds of ammunition. Alright. You know what? The old streakers are actually pretty light. If we take this medium laser out, We could genuinely get some uh, some light missile support in here. 1.5 tons for this. One ton for this. And that spares us just that little bit extra for uh, some SRM ammo. I'm going to move the ballistics computer actually into the uh, CT where it will be safer. So we have to play the usual standard which is um, to protect the hunchback's weapon side at all costs. But this is good, we can put some serious uh, long range harassment using the rotary AC2 and then use our clan SRMs for uh, short range combat as required. Plus uh, there will be a little bit of a sweet spot where the two of them overlap. 
Perfect. I find that to be quite pleasing. I wonder if we should put some armor in this as well. While we're here. I think at the very least, some clan armor, which will provide us with case and prevent this explosion from traveling anywhere. Um, are we happy? I think we're happy. Okay. Finally, get that ballistics uh, computer into use. I think the uh, Ultra AC10 design would have been slightly better, but you can't fit what you don't have, and I didn't have any ammo, so. Alright, this thing's wrecked, and I have no interest in it anyway. To the bin with you. So this is the hunchback which I just finished fitting. I'm going to move this one to the top because uh, once it's repaired it'll be ready to go. Whereas these other ones are projects and they've, they won't be ready to go. Alright. Okay. Four days till the financial report. Now. I'm going to risk this, but I will withdraw if it gets too silly. If I'm looking at like three enemy Strixes, I'm just going to hit the withdraw button and go. We'll not faff around on this one. I'm taking a huge risk here for entertainment and profit purposes. <coughs> but if it looks too severe, then I'm out of there. Usually a capture base is four enemies, then you capture the base and you win. But if it's one of these, if it's like eight mechs. If it's eight mechs and they're all really good. Or, uh, I mean, we'll just have to look at it. Make a decision on the fly. <clears throat> I want to risk it though. I think it'd be fun. <clears throat> but I'm uh, I'm pre I'm pre warning you that I might withdraw from this one because this is huge risk. This will hurt me as well because Steiner is the only faction that likes me, so damaging my reputation with them will hurt me. Command interface initiated. Here we go. All right. First things first. Is that a wall? I don't know if I can get up there. It's a bloody tiny map, and it's very open. Not a good start. As you wish. No need to tell me twice. get here and hope that this area is empty sensors have something oh crap they're there reserving action okay this is bad news bears we are completely in the open here although this is a ditch this is not flat this is a ditch here we can utilize the ditch. I hear you. I want to stay the hell away from the base. Can I climb that? I can actually climb this. It looks like. You have orders. Orders. Can you just climb that? Okay, you can. All right, this is acceptable. Going full throttle. They've got a sensor lock on me. All right, that's fine. What's that turret? Nope, that's a mech. Standing by. 
That is potentially a heavy of some Going description. Bulky. I'm still. I'm only seeing two enemies at the moment. Waiting on you, Commander. You move into the ditch. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. <clears throat> okay, we're all right. Yes, Commander. Okay, so there's another enemy there. Still don't know what they are. <coughs> Two mediums and a heavy, maybe? Okay, he wasted his turn. It's all right. Waiting for orders. Okay, moving there gives me sight on all of these guys. All right. Four enemies. And those turrets, wherever they are. Sensor looking my ass repeatedly. Waiting for the shot. Okay. Ultra AC ten maybe. What can I do for you? What is that? I missed it. Thunderbolt 2. Oh my god. Mother of god. I should not be here. Oh, we got a headshot on him. That's nice. This guy is a bad. It's bad news in a way. In a way that is beyond comprehension. That's not just a heavy. It's a. It's a Ready really incredibly nasty clan heavy. Copy that. Giving you everything I've got. All right, we got some stab damage done to him. What's the plan? We got to get rid of this guy fast. As you wish. Oh, that's not a good. That's not a good start. That didn't hit. That didn't hit. No shit. Okay, that's that's easy to deal with, relatively speaking. Although he seems to have some incredible targeting. He's got a plus one targeting computer. Ready for orders. Uh, yes, your orders are to be somewhere else. Is there a good spot for you to jump? Yes, there is. Brace. <clears throat> so everyone's targeting you. Might as well tank. A shadow hawk? Just a normal shadow hawk. That's the least of my concerns. Waiting on you, Commander. I think we can do this, but we just gotta play it so right.
just not a great shot, is it? I really don't have a great shot on him. I need him to move. Standing by. Into the open would be ideal. Okay. It's that super mega heavily armored catapult. I hear you. Not the highest DPS in the world though. We can do this if we get rid of this clan guy fast. He's the big threat. Everyone else is kind of whatever. Ow! Oh, mother of god, that hurt. Wow! That was bad. He managed to stay in cover as well. Good to go. Uh, I'm not really getting the shot I need. I am medium though, so I do get to go first. I can go here Sprinting. and then go again. Commencing Alpha Strike. Commander. On my way. Come on, get him. Here it get that leg. Oh, we hit the head again! We may get him. None of these shots are great. Confirmed. Okay. We've got to get him on this turn. Sweet, that was very much a wasted turn. Light damage, Commander. So what we gotta do is we gotta get this leg off. He'll fall down and he'll die. Waiting for orders. Because he's already taken two damage and he's only got four hit points. Double time. Keep running away from these enemies that are chasing me. This is not a great shot, but we just have to take it. If we're lucky, it knocks him over. Nope. I'm showing minor damage. Okay, that's How fine. Might I help? Ninety-nine point one percent. That's amazing. I copy. Come on, Kintaro. We get the leg, we knock him over, we hit the head once more, we take the side off, anything. Anything to get an injury. Firing full Beautiful. One HP. Reporting. If I were to just shoot him, what are the odds? Well, I know what the odds are that I hit the head. The side torso is uh, got the engine in it. It's the only thing. So we might not actually get a capture if we hit the uh, engine. Oh well, let's try. You should have never come. Oh, we got him. Tango down. We got the engine, but I still think that counts as a solid capture because we did not get the CT. Okay, so we got the ultra heavily armoured catapult of doom to deal with and this trebuchet. 
I actually feel like the trebuchet is slightly more dangerous and it's a lot easier to kill. So that's probably what I should go for. This mech has taken some pretty severe damage. I wonder if I can run this way and persuade them to turn around. Although that only that gives me an awful chance to hit. Let's do it. On it. And let's put vigilance on. Just because I don't wanna I don't wanna get ruined here. These are not great chances to hit, but whatever. Targeting for an alpha strike. Oh nice! Nice! Man, we did severe damage to his rear. What is the... Okay, damage. we do have a special cockpit. Receiving you. I wonder if I can hide this mech somewhere. Oh man, the chance to hit now is amazing. Hmm, if I jumped, what would my chance to hit be? It would be bad. But it would certainly improve my survivability. This is the right side of the mech, which is smashed. So we kind of need to just show the left side. Engaging jump jet. Hmm. <clears throat> we'll have to play very defensive with this mech. Once again, awful chances to hit, but we might get lucky. On it. Oh, nice. His rear is totally smashed in now. If he turns around, he's dead. Ouch. I have to move the Centurion now because it's been destabilized. Sometimes you do not get a choice as to which mech you want to use next. Andrew? Stay out of the rough terrain, though. That'll do. Right, Commander. Um, this feels like a pointless shot because I've been going for the rear. Although this actually has a chance of rear clipping, so I guess it's not completely pointless. But I will cool down on this one. Firing on target. Okay, here comes the Shadow Hawk. Least Threat 2018 Shadow nice. Hawk. That hit hard. He actually genuinely brought a knife to a gunfight. Awaiting orders. I don't think this base has got turrets, you know, because I mean it's got turret pagodas, but I don't seem to be being attacked. And you would think that I'd be close enough. Oh, nice hit. That should tag him. Alright, let's see what this silly catapult does. I'm sure it will jump around somewhere. Nice. The last time I encountered one of these, that was a heavy hit, Commander. how I killed it was I just repeatedly blasted it with missiles until it fell over because it seemed to know only how to jump around. And by constantly jumping around, it was destabilizing itself. Moving out. And it feels like this is the same thing here.
Come on, knock him over. Yeah, look, he's really in danger of falling over. Ow. Ow. I'm getting all shot up. Okay, fusion core's hit. Time to move. Jesus, I'm surprised we didn't get an explosion there. I'm like, yeah, if it's too risky, I just I'll just run away, and then I never run away. <laughs> I can never run from a fight. It's the left torso that's smashed, okay. So I wanna move here and show the right side only. Moving to position. Hopefully this knocks him over. Should do. Oh, a headshot. Nice. <clears throat> that's a side shot, but it's on the uh, it's on the side that's not too badly damaged. Yes, commander. Yes, commander. Right. It is of critical importance that I knock this mech over. Uh, and I can't fire any weapons without overheating. Commander. Let's not jump, that's a bad idea. Uh, this is the right side that smashed on this mech. That's a good angle. Acknowledged. Better not overheat. Shut down would be death. Knock him down. He keeps on passing his stability checks, but it doesn't matter when your bar is full. He's down to 2 HP now. All oh, right, now can we get behind this trebuchet? That's what I really need to do. Charge! This guy's got so much health, like literally everywhere. Just go for the head and pray. Target acquired and locked in. Oh, we hit it! He's got one HP! What's up, boss? This mech is really overheating. Oh, we're still on geothermal terrain. Like a fool. How did I not notice this? Got it. This no explains shoot. so much. Alright, let's go with the other M15. If we can, no we can. If we hit the head, he just dies. Taking shot. So let's try. No. He may be up though, but another knockdown and he's dead, so... We're right on the cusp of killing two of these guys. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, we're fine. Ooh, took a heavy hit there. Alright, so, either... Good to go. Either we run in behind the trebuchet and try and kill him here and now. With any of these mechs. How might I help? In fact, this one would be ideal. Or we run the Centurion. 
to try and protect it. I'm willing to risk it. As you wish. Let's try and kill this guy. Here and now. We won't risk overheating though. Or will we? What's the risk? Yeah, let's do it. I have a good feeling about this. Yes! Yes! Oh, he is dead. Dead, 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 dead. Get out. And I really couldn't care less about this Shadow Hawk. You know, one PPC hurts, but it don't hurt that much. Now we have to do is knock this catapult over and he'll die. Waiting for orders. Commander? And knocking him over is just a matter of inflicting glorious missile spam. Standing by. In fact, we'll just stand still. And volley the whole lot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Knock his ass down. Yes! He's Might done! There. Might get some good salvage there. Are you kidding me? We're at 520. <laughs> we will get some good salvage there. Oh man, I'm going to be rich. Receiving you. I'm going to be rich. My bullshit has paid off. But we can't, we can't lose sight of the game just yet. We've not won. It may only be the Shadowhawk, but a lot of our mechs are pretty badly hurt. On my way, double time. A shot in the right place could still do some real damage. Putting one in the back. Oh, nice! We brutalized that rear cockpit. For orders. Let's go here. Oh man, we're running so hot. I think we took an engine critical, didn't we? Tell me what to shoot. All oh, right, we tagged and beaconed him. He should be an easy kill now. Let's just hope he doesn't do any real damage this turn. Oh, right, he missed. Orders. Moving out. Hello, friend. This is for you. Firing. Oh, wow, we survived. Thirty two HP. You have orders? I do not actually have the spare heat capacity to do much apart from just punch this guy. I understand. And miss. He may actually survive Here this turn, go. just on the grounds that I don't really have uh, a rear angle. Alright, missiles away. He might fall over. Commander? Go! Okay, he's panicking, but he's passing his stability checks. He might brace because he's so destabilized. Nope. He tried to put a shot into that. Good to go. That damaged left side of Position my vindicator. But it was not to be. 
firing at enemy six. Goodbye. You're clear to proceed to your next objective. All right. That should be it. We should just be able to Consider capture the base now. Cooling. Wow, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I never run away. I don't even know why I say to myself, yeah, I'll, I'll retreat if it's too bad, and then I just don't. Good for now. I copy. Affirmative. You guys can just stay where you are. If there are enemies up here, there will be a mad Great, dash to this hill. Certainly. Resting my mech. Are we done? Heads up, Commander. No. You've got hostile contacts inbound. No, we're not done. What am I looking at? Oh my god, I'm looking at violence in a can. Reporting. Standing by. On the move, full speed. Waiting for orders. All right. Coordinates received. You guys just need to maintain your distance and lob missiles. Receiving you. Acknowledged. All right. You have orders? Of course. We're going to have to play peekaboom if we're going to survive this. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Reserving action. All right, I think that Orion is exposed. Yes, Commander. He is exposed, but he has also got his defenses up. Yes, Commander. Oh, nice, good hits. What's up, boss? Can't remember about that bloody geothermal up there. We got plenty of missiles. Good to go. So I guess we just keep firing them. Waiting for orders. Copy that. Do not have plenty of ATM missiles though. Still. Waiting for orders. All right, keep firing. Serve heat for this round. Right, Commander. Oh, another headshot. How might I help? 
Very nice. I'll Run. be there before you know it. Ready for orders. On my way. Alright boys, let's play the game, shall we? Got plenty more LRMs to share. Still don't know what these two enemies are, they could be absolutely anything. Yes, Commander. All right. Moving out. Get him. Certainly. Nice. The softening continues. Standing by. I'd love to be up here, actually. I should have moved up there, but, uh... Can't walk past that geothermal right now. Oh, we're in the structure! Oh! That's a kill. Waiting for Explosion! Orders. Is that? That's the edge of the map. No wonder I couldn't go up there. Moving fast. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. Nice, Bakaritsu. All right. And then there were two. A quick draw. Standard one? Yeah, just a stock one. Alright, I'm not too concerned about that. We can missile volley that to death. Now my real question is, what is this other mech? I don't believe it's one of these horrendous melee ones. Oh, it's another quick draw. Stock. Also stock. Okay, so we have one with four evasion that's Reporting. out of cover, and one with four evasion that's in cover, so... Our choice has been made clear. What's the plan? What's this? This is the left torso that smashed. This is my right-hand side of my mech. On Perfect. My Not a great Tell chance to hit. Oh man, we landed almost everything there. That's great. Awaiting orders. Commander. Okay. Moving to position. Nice high ground standoff position. Go. On it. Oh man, that's vicious. And he's nearly destabilized. Commander. Oh, that involves me running through the heat. Okay, this is the right hand side that's bashed. So we've got to show the left side only. Okay. Aye, aye. Ah, oh, we didn't destabilize him. But we will get another chance. We get two chances because we're mediums. Confirmed. Burn him! Oh, beautiful! Oh! Let's get this done. That's a critical hit. Oh, you're mine. Good to go. You have no idea. Oh, I'm overheating pretty badly. But let's do it. Got it.
Wow. Critical hit, Commander. Not entirely sure how he survived all those stability checks there, but you know. Now this Orders. mech is not very good at this range, but thanks to him being knocked over, we can take advantage. I've just shown the right side of my mech. I'm such um I am an idiot. Oh well, hopefully. Hopefully that does not result in any problems. Uh, let's just get him killed. Fire. We already got that catapult to uh, to die in pristine condition, so I already know the loot table is going to be great. Now we just prevent taking any return fire. Go. Okay, now he's tagged. So, we've got this guy's nads in a vice now, because he is uh, energy based, more or less. And he is already running pretty hot. Confirmed. So, if we apply a uh, modest flame to him... Oh, we missed. I'm pretty sure we missed. I was going to say, if we heat him up, he won't be able to fight back. He might overcook himself. Ironically, my rear armor is like my thickest armor. My armor is peeling away. Still is, because he hit my um. He hit my legs. Reporting. I think that's it. We got him. I can't believe we did this. Yes, Commander. Nice. He is now hotter than the surface Commander? of the sun. Of course, so is this mech. In fact, let's just brace. Waiting for orders. Nice. Yes, Commander. Roger that. Missiles away. I get the feeling I might have put too many missiles on this mech, but to be fair, when I start equipping it with clan missile launchers, it will fire a lot more. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Standing Gotta by. get used to that Norwegian pollen. Alright, I've got you now. Acknowledged. I have you now, Star Fox. Let's just kill his ass. Kill his ass. Firing all weapons. Now what, buddy? He can't risk actually firing his weapons. He'll explode. They're getting the angle on me. Oh, he did it though. He is very lucky that he did not explode. Coordinates confirmed. Locking on target. Ooh, that hurt. Scored a critical hit. Alright. Waiting for orders. We are done here. Let's try and get rid of these weapons out of the loot table. He might eject. Hit, Commander. No, he didn't eject. Receiving you. The laser is in the arm, and the missile launcher is in the side. Locking in all weapons with them. Neither of which I really want. All oh, right. Mission successful. 
Oh, baby. I should never have attempted that. But hey, <laughs> I did and it worked. <laughs> Alright, show me that loot. Oh my god, it's disgusting. I could get a catapult here and now. Oh man, that's that's gonna be worth so much money. So many nice things here. Okay, gotta take that. It's worth the cash. Gotta take that. A lot of heat sinks. Ooh, a plus two missile targeting computer. Very important piece of kit, to be fair. Not the most valuable item, but in terms of combat, it's very important. And it's pretty rare. We've not seen many of them. Alright, I'm going to take two pieces of catapult and hope I get the rest. We got a lot of random salvage due to us, so let's see what happens. Oh, what a heartbreaker. We got four pieces. Still, we picked up another four pieces of heavy. Or medium. Oh, what a heartbreaker. Junk, junk. That's worth having. Eh, it's alright. We picked up heat sinks. Can't be too greedy. Oh, one piece away from a catapult. That would have been amazing. Make a proper SRM cap catapult. We'll get it next time. I had to get the missile computer. Computers are just so valuable when your pilots are garbage. It uh, it makes a massive difference. And my pilots will always be garbage. Alright, what's the damage? 14... 140, that's not bad. Just a shame we didn't complete that catapult. Sorry to keep banging on about it. That would have made a massive difference. Okay, we picked up another M10, which is junk. Um. Okay, the XL engine. And we picked up a spare fusion core, a too large one. There's, there's another fusion core 200. Where are these coming from? I don't get it. Is this this bug where you take critical damage and a component gets cloned? There's this bug in the vanilla game which I thought was fixed. Where when one of your components gets critically damaged it gets cloned. Because the um, Centurion took a critical hit to its fusion core and I believe that is a fusion core 200 I'm pretty sure and there was this bug it was the one way in the vanilla game to get a uh, second copy of a gorse rifle was to uh, take a critical hit to it and you would end up with a second one I can't see it because it's blocked I'm pretty sure that we're getting these extra fusion cores because I'm taking critical hits. And that's what's happening. 
Anyway, we've exhausted all the contracts on this planet. So we're done here. The Kintaro is not in the list. I guess the Kintaro didn't actually take any damage at all. Not one not one hit point of damage. Nope. Okay, that's perfect. Well, it's a little bit early to say that we're rich, but uh, that contract certainly made things more interesting for us. Bountiful Harvest. Arctic World. Mega City. Okay, let's go. By your command. I'm up for a bountiful harvest. Oh, it's finally come to bite me, the stupid jinx trait thing. But if I get rid of her, she's my only honest pilot. Which means that the criminals will be back in my pocket. I don't know, releasing her gets rid of her, but doesn't no negatives occur. I'm pretty sure confining her to the barracks barracks lowers the spirits of your mech warriors and slash or causes injuries. Uh, I can't really afford to take the cash hit from losing her though. Oh well. Yep, that hurts. Uh, he's not a very important mech warrior. I believe. Hang on, let's see. Good to go. No, he's not. Okay. We might just get rid of him. As soon as I find an honest mech warrior, I'll replace Walnuts as well. For once, I can actually afford it. I can afford it easily. That morale cost is not great either. I mean, two morales quite a lot. Some serious sea bills involved in that. Okay, we've arrived and are ready to deploy. Waypoint reached, Commander. Come on, hiring hall. Ugh. Ugh, junk. All right, let's get these contracts generated. I'm 
hoping to catch a break here. Oh, priority missions. Forty days travel. Ugh. That ain't gonna happen. Okay, we're just lagging right now while the game can, can carries on generating the contracts. Okay. All right. Okay, destroy base for four salvage, that's good. Drop interception for three salvage, that's reasonable. This is also probably quite a reasonable mission. 416. Lost air. This is usually a hard mission. Still. Might be an acceptable risk. This recovery could be uh, could be easy actually, despite its high rating. Destroy base for two and a half skull. Hmm. I like the idea of that one actually. I might go for that. And the rest is going to be too hard. So our mech warrior situation is not good. But uh, financially, we are in a very good sp in a good spot. It just sucks. That I have to use this bloody vindicator all the time because it's not a good mech. I mean, it's alright, but it ain't great. Alright. Let's repair that engine, shall we? Ten days? Ten days? Damn, ten days? Well, that ain't good. I'll get it in the schedule. Well, in that case, we might as well wait for the hunchback. Unless we want to do a one skull with like three mechs. Or a half a skull with three mechs. I think we could do this mission with three mechs pretty easily. So, we'll do this mission with three mechs next time and then we'll wait for these two mechs to be fixed the centurion and the hunchback we got money so we might as well take the time to try and save up for that third mech bay right I can't remember whether I checked the difficulty or not but anyway there's the difficulty we are done for now. Join me next time for more Nightmare Mode where we will do the One Skull mission with three mechs. And then we'll get the Centurion and the Hunchback repaired so that we can uh, bring four good mechs to that base destruction, the two and a half skull one. I think that would be a good idea. Alright, see you then.